All right, everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to episode number five of the Outer Wilds. And uh, sorry, Outer Wilds, not the Outer Wilds, of Outer Wilds. And um, yeah, really, as always, excited to jump back into this one on the back of last episode. I think we made quite a nice bit of progress in the last episode. We explored the, um, the Ash Twins quite a lot. And um, I think we made some relatively good progress there. Um, I kind of feel like we still got that one area in like the core city area of the Ash Twin um, where we need to um, sort of get around the ghost matter and explore in there a little bit more, which, you know, we're going to play around with some ideas later on, having uh, done some uh, watching back on my own content. Um, there's also a couple of points that LB raised uh, in comments as well. Um, not really spoilers or anything, but um, I didn't explore a couple of places to their full potential because I made stu I made stupid turns and went in stupid directions. Um, so yeah, there's I think what I kind of want to concentrate on tonight more than anything is um, I'm going to head back to the Ash um, the the Ash Twins, see if we can work out how to navigate that area where the uh, ghost matter is. We're then going to check out some extra bits and pieces to explore around there. Maybe going to go to the, um, the I call them the Ash Twins, it's not the Ash Twins, it's the Hourglass Twins, isn't it? Because um, then it's the Ash Twin, I think, which is the, the moon, I need to remember. The Ember, Ember Twins, yeah, the Ember Twin is the one with the city, the Ash Twin is the one with like the moon, or going around it. We need to explore there and, and check out the towers more. Um, I do remember from seeing somewhere, I didn't, I didn't see it when I watched my content back, um, but I need to check, um, so I'm sure each one of those towers will take us to a different planet and a different area. Uh, also, Crazy, what's going on? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're well. Welcome along. Um, and then we can maybe go back to... Back to the... Uh, names. The names elude me. The um, one with the volcanic moon. Because there's still some bits and pieces we have to check out at the Hanging City. Like, we never really... Um, we didn't really understand or explore too much around the Black Hole Forge. We just kind of, like, lowered it, and that was it. We didn't really do anything else with that. So, I want to try and explore that a little bit more. And there was a couple... I think there was, like, another area that we kind of didn't feel like we could progress in there. So, I want to kind of go and uh, explore that a bit. So, tonight, we're probably just going to be focusing on areas we've been to but we haven't yet fully explored um but yeah without further ado let's jump in to part number five wake up and uh, also because uh, lb is here tonight um i will make sure i'll try my hardest not to eat any marshmallows <laughs> Alrighty then. So we'll just go and um, we will just have a quick look at the map as we uh, go in here. <laughs> um. Yes, the Ember Twin. Yeah, the Ember Twin is where the where we need to go where the city is. The Ash Twin is the one with the towers, isn't it? That's right. Obviously, we've got a lot more to explore now. The, the problem is with the... The problem with the Ash Twin is because the sand kind of goes between the two, you've got to quite wait quite late um, to actually explore this. You've got to wait for a lot of the sand to actually come off the planet and go down to the uh, the Ember Twin before you can actually get down there. So, Whitehall Station was used as a model for these towers which built up the Ash Twin project. Yep. So that's that we've also got something on brittle hollow which is the um the other area where the hanging city is and obviously we've got more to explore there ah so we've got a bit more on the black hole forge here um crafted warp cores at the black hole forge before delivering them to the ash twin okay so that's where the warp cores have obviously been taken from the black hole forge and they've been put into the towers which allows the um, no my to travel between uh, planets from the Ash Twin. Um, okay. So, yeah, I think we're pretty good at the minute. So, we're going to head back to the Ember Twin first. 
There's also more. I didn't pick up on that either. There's there's also more to explore here. The lake bed cave, which is part of, if I remember, part of the the interloper. That's right. It's the interloper. And that's what we see breaking up uh, when we first wake up. And I wrongfully uh, mentioned that it was the sun station, even though we wasn't looking at the sun in a previous episode. But it's the orbital probe cannon by the looks of it. And we, when we wake up, it's like sort of like the first thing we see, and it looks like it's breaking up. So it's um, an interesting thing to note as well. Why is Lenton's grayed out? I guess that means that we we haven't been to that, and I don't know that we can actually land on Hollow's Lantern because it's quite volcanic. Um, anyway, let's um, try not to get too distracted, and uh, let's head off. Are we going in this direction? Yes, there we are. And uh, actually, we don't want the Ash Twin, we want the Ember Twin. We also do not want mouse controls. Alright, gotta remember the quick way into here, though, that's the problem, isn't it? As before, going down near the. Where's the uh, distress signal from the ship? Actually, the gravity cannon's over here. Go from the gravity cannon. There is a path from the city to the gravity cannon. I just take me a little bit of a little while here just to uh, regain my bearings. Will apologise for that in advance. I think this is just the crater, just straight down the middle of the. Planet, isn't it? Oh, here's the here's the ship. Anyway, one thing we found. All right, I guess we're going this way now. So I think it was this way, around the rock. And then I think I want to drop down here, don't I? That's it. And then we go around to the left again until we get to the rock formations and through the ceiling. Here. We go up here. I think that's it, isn't it? Okay, we have arrived.
Okay, so... This is the interesting bit. So, when I watched everything back... Kind of feel like... I just glided over the top of this stuff. That's how I was able to... Make it through. Yeah. Great start. <laughs> so, I think that's... We, we can do that. But doing that needs to be done in... Needs to be done in moderation for the simple fact that um, we only have a finite amount of propulsion in our jetpack. Alright, so one thing I want to do is I want to go back over to here. And I want to go to the area where there's actually ghost matter here and talk to the people around here just to see if there's anything they can tell me here. No worries, crazy, don't worry. Have a good evening, buddy. Appreciate you just stopping by and saying hi as always. Strange dangerous substance that's invisible to naked eye. The good news is that you can detect ghost matter with a camera. Moving through ghost matter is uniquely painful and will probably kill you. Don't complain to me if you hurt yourself falling around. Alright, so... Okay, so... Okay, let's do something with the scout launcher. Okay, so... So, okay, I was... Obviously the ghost matters here. Now, looking at the camera... It almost seems like... I, I kind of felt there that it's where the... Uh, what's given off there... It just seems to like radiate the whole thing. So even if I go like, yeah, I know I'm dying, but I'm learning. So what I'm doing, Mika, is I'm trying to understand how this um, ghost matter works and how we can actually get around it. <gasps> what I thought there was, I, I, I thought, initially, there was only a... When you look through the camera, there was only certain aspects of the ghost matter that were sort of looking like they were dangerous and deadly. But 
that's not the case at all. So let's go back and sort of put go here. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, I'm probably gonna die. Let's go back and look at it a little bit more. See if we can't uh, identify some pieces. Patch ghost from outside the fence because it used to be bigger when we were hatching because ghost matter evaporates. This takes a super long time to go away. I hope there's still ghost matter in this visual line growing up. Um, They're touching it hurts so bad it feels like the whole hand's on fire. Try not to walk into any in space, okay? That sounds bad and painful. Call the little scouts can detect ghost matter. Deathwish with the 21 months! Twitch Prime resub, my man. Welcome, welcome. Thank you very much for the resub, buddy. Hope you're well. Welcome along. What would be really cool is if the little scout could, like, Shoot ghost matter at stuff. Okay. Hold on. You can take pictures, right? Don't want to do that. Okay, so that's something that I... Something I didn't realize was that I could actually just hold it and use this as a camera. And obviously, the whole point of this is saying that I can detect ghost matter with a camera. Okay. So... What if... Still missing something here. Excuse me.
I get that I can detect it in photo mode. But surely seeing something in photo mode tells me, like, or shows me a path that I can walk in, right? But when I try to... Unless it's showing me a path where I can safely hover over. I, I could hover over this area here. No, so it's still... I'll probably kill you. Don't complain to me if you hurt yourself falling around. Such a grown up. Photo mode is what... Okay. Okay, well let's, hold on then. So, assuming, on the assumption that, I suppose the next real thing to do, would, to do then would be to go and check um what the areas look like in the um where the ghost matter is through the camera and see if there is no I'm I'm still sort of like drawn to the fact that we need to look at the camera and it will reveal some sort of path through there to us. Only problem is now <clears throat> is um, I don't know how much sand has been filled in. I just break the game. I think I did. Fantastic. <gasps> to be fair, I think that's the only real issue we've had, though. I don't think we've had too many. We had, obviously, the, uh, the issue in the Quantum Grove, but from what I've uh, been told by people who watch that clip, it's quite a regular occurrence. So, I 
Alright. Alright, Dana, no worries. So pilot complete, we undershot the target. Going back this way, don't I? I really need to uh, to find like a better way to uh, get, like I say, get a better way to get in. What's going on, Mr. Fab? Hope you're well, buddy. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing this fine day? Let's turn the flashlight on. I'm pretty good, thank you. Thank you very much for asking. Excited to be jumping back into some more of the uh, out of Outwilds tonight. This one up. I think that one's the one to gravity cannon, so we want to also have a look at that. But let's first of all go over to here. Okay, so we're right to walk to here. But we can't walk past this section here because that's where things really start to get a bit hairy. So can we go round? matter. Okay, we're safe to walk to here. This is all a bit yikes here though, isn't it? Could go over to there though, so can we fly to here? Okay. So I'm guessing like the places where we can walk here, this is where like the ghost matter has like quote unquote evaporated, right? I'm 
sure that's what it said, wasn't it? That the ghost matter evaporated, evaporates in time. So we can't go down there, so we've literally got to just jump into there. Okay. Um, so let's get a little bit of your concentration level higher. It's good to hear, Mika. Alright, so we've got some more information here. <clears throat> Be welcomed in this place. This shrine is a space to reflect on what brought us to this star system, the signal from our eye. We observed the eye signal in our travels and followed it here to find its source. What we know is this. The source of the signal, which we have chosen to call the eye of the universe, is older than the universe itself. The rest we have yet to learn. Enter and open your mind to its possibilities. Okay. Interesting. What was your, uh, what's your thoughts on the game, Mr. Faber? Uh, did you enjoy it? I've definitely been enjoying it since I've been playing it. In the eye, if the eye called to us, why won't it reveal itself? Why is it so difficult to locate it? Did the signal stop? Does the eye no longer desire to be found? Perhaps this isn't the eye's choice. The eye may not be able to communicate with us more than it already has. Did something happen to it? Well, there's lots of knowledge in here, isn't there? Didn't we make it into here before, like through that side? I think we like cheesed it into here before. Is the eye natural or artificial? Maybe someone built it. The eye is older than the universe itself. How could something exist before its creator? It could be naturally occurring, though this doesn't answer the, how the eye could be as old as it is. Did the eye deliberately call out to us by sending the signal, or did we hear the signal by coincidence? We could be seeing meaning where there is none. Suppose the signal was produced inc incidentally. Does that mean the eye is less important, though? Perhaps the eye wanted to be found. Could it be sentient? Maybe it chose us. Does the eye desire something from us? Could it need us in some way? Maybe it doesn't have to be us. Excuse me. Ah, yeah, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure I'd been in here before. Um... Interestingly, though, have I missed some text somewhere here? Because the um, it didn't update. Although maybe I can go over to here now. Okay, so this is the way out. Okay, so this is this is the way I'm actually meant to come. Then, isn't it? I'm meant to actually come out this way, not come in this way, like I did. Okay, maybe we're done there. I think we're probably done in here. Yeah, we've read that in there. Yeah, and that's where we just went from in there wasn't it so yeah i think we've um okay so i think we're done in there so from here let's go and try to find the path to the cannon is this way looks like at the minute a lot of this ghost matter has evaporated oh wait too soon no oh. get out of there <laughs> damn it
Um, we made it into the, the area. LB, we made it into the area and um, we read the bits of text and I said, to, I, I kind of mentioned that um, it looked like we'd been in there before and we cheesed our way into there. But I think the um, Leo mentioned that the sand was too high when we were in there before to read the text, but. Anyhow, let's um, check out this. Cause we've got some more new information maybe. No? Ah. Got nothing new on there. That's interesting. Oh, we did. The Nomai traveled to this solar system in pursuit of a signal from something older than the universe itself. They named the source of this signal the Eye of the Universe. Alright, so I think that's actually... It could be the Sunless City completed, actually. Yeah. The Sunless City is done. Yes, I did get inside. Yes. So I I understand now. I understand. Basically, I understand that the ghost matter works and the um the the hint was that guy that was stood there, the the little boy who was stood there throwing the rocks into the ghost matter and he said about um one of them had said that in time it will all evaporate away. So Obviously, using the camera, you can see which has evaporated and which is still active, and then obviously you can pick your path from there. So, um, yes. Okay. That bit is done. Still got to go back to the Hanging City and look at that, which we will be doing later. The Sun Station, we need to get to, I think, from the Ash Tower Twin. And... We need to... We need to check out the gravity cannon, but not here. The one on the hourglass twin, which is this one, I think. I I landed on the interlap and not only during it was arrival in the solar system, the shots of equipment heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. Clary, the Nomai who stayed behind, lost contact with the other two after they descended into the other oh, no. So that's that's going into back to the interlop. It's this gravity cannon here, isn't it? I do just want to go back though. Um The other hint is that the sign said ghost matter is invisible to the naked eye, are crystal crystals visible or invisible? Well, the crystals are visible, aren't they? All right, I want to head back just once more because I want to go and just explore that cave where we was just then on the way to the gravity cannon. Um, just to see if there is anything else in there. I'm hoping as well, not that we like need to get back there anytime soon, but I'm hoping too by doing the doing the gravity cannon thing path will also um, reveal a bit of an easy way to get to the the city. And let's look for our entry point. Is this where we learned about the towers? What? I don't think we've been up here, have we? Hold on. I don't think we've been here. This is to do with the towers, though. Must be. It's probably sometimes, and only sometimes, has a moon. It's also This is also of note. It disappears if no one is watching it. Isn't that fascinating orbital characteristics? It's my first time encountering a natural satellite with the ability to vanish when not being watched. We should study it. 
or even better, we should travel there. I agree. Our first step would be determining a method to track the Phantom Moon so we can always know where it is. Given its reluctance to move while consciously observed, it might be a form of mm, macroscopic quantum mechanics. I wrote the paper on that, I'm sure I did. Um, I found your notes, Mil Milore. Kindly count kindly count me among this moon's admirers. What is happening when it disappears? I doubt it ceases to exist. Does it move to another location? I believe so. Not only does the moon appear around Brittle Hollow, I can confirm it sometimes orbits Timber Hearth as well. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I don't think we've... Uh... Church research notes, property of Chert. Clearly, the gnome are making astronomical observations here. They chose an excellent spot. What is this big rotating device for? What, what was it the gnome I were observing? I'd posit there's something special about this orange symbol on the, that device. How the new astronauts translator tool would be a nice, nice to have handy about now. Well, luckily, I've got it. You know. Also, luckily, uh, left me a nice little. Uh, Jetpack there. Fuel if I need it, but. Uh, I didn't drop the scroll. Quantum moon locator is functioning. Oh, we have markers for each of the places the moon goes. I know her, but I just observed the quantum moon in orbit around Dark Bramble. I added a marker for Dark Bramble. I thought the locator now accounted for all of the Phantom Moon's location, but sometimes the locator can't tell where the moon is. Perhaps there's a problem with the device. You have keen eyes, my friend, so this moon travels in a to, to a total of five locations, not four. It's also possible there exists a sixth place in the star system to which a Phantom Moon travels. Alrighty then. the oh no, is the I think that's the sun no the orange is the moon okay so the orange is the moon right so we know we know where it is what we don't know is though how we does it? Hold on. Does it move in the same... I guess it moves in the same pattern every time, right? Moves the same pattern every time. Not so sure. Okay. Massive distraction there. No mind to create a device truck on this location, no more hypothesis. The quantum moon might be a form of macroscopic quantum mechanics. The moon travels to a total of five locations. 
But I mean, sometimes this appears possibly to an unknown sixth location. So they never worked that out, it seems, or at least what from the information we've found so far, they haven't. Um, no more in between observed a moon that would disappear when no one was watching. Yeah, that's just more on that, isn't it? Okay. So. Be like anything of importance at these like little pillars over here. Now, the problem is here, I think. I guess that's the sun station. Anyway, let's not get distracted. Um, I guess from now though, I've kind of used too much time maybe to get down to the city below. can see though. We'll check. Somehow made it in. I do wonder as well, I, I feel like there's more to explore at the fossil as well. Unless there's like another fossil to explore. Well, well, that's a rip. Could have done without doing that. But yeah, I, unless there's another fossil to explore somewhere else, I feel like... I'm not going to be able to make it up there, am I? Uh, that would be fortunate. Then we'll try. Oh yeah. Easy. Um, what was I talking about? Um, things and stuff. The, the anglerfish fossil, that's it. I don't feel like from the anglerfish fossil that I saw on here, that I learned enough about it to be able to, um, evade it. So, yeah. Son of a... I guess that's just not the right way to go. Yeah, it's just a dead end, so yeah. Completely unnecessary. Oh, hey, massive shortcut. There's my shortcut. 
<laughs> All right. Excellent. Okay, now where were controls are here, aren't they? Let's remember activate the cannon. Call it home. Wonder if like when everything aligns here, whether that means something. I found the shortcut before, but I didn't realise. Not in the quantum cave. Doesn't disappear. Let me read... Where was the text on this ship? Again. Here it is. I just want to read this again. Um, and on this comet. So this is the ship that went to the interloper, right? That's the way to launch. There's no way to like, actually control the ship, though, as such, is there? Once I'm sort of like moving in it. Maybe then Maybe this would be a good like time to go to Maybe it would be a good time to head back to um, the Ash Twin. Where if you get all them to line up? Too spaced out from to do it from here though, aren't they? But look how like cool like you see all the planets like together there, like they look pretty cool. But yeah, they're too they're too far spaced out to be able to. 
I'm sure you probably could get them to all like line up. And I bet that um, that would sound pretty cool altogether. Interesting. Now isn't there something about this that you always... You always land at the south, or you always appear at the south pole. Oh dear, that was, um... I think our fate is sealed, ladies and gentlemen. The moon played me! <laughs> But that was an interesting experiment there because what I learned there is I don't feel like I can land. I, I don't, it doesn't look like I can land, land my ship on there, which would then mean I have to go back to Brittle Hollow and somehow use the gravity cannon, right? Why do you feel you left out the group chat? I don't know. Why do you feel like that, Atom? All right, so. Each tower is designed to visually reflect its warp distance. I know I'd seen this before. Towers allow the Nomad to quickly travel between the Ash Twin and all other locations crucial to the Ash Twin project. All right, so looking at these, you've got... We'll see, I can see... I guess the first one, top left, will be the Sun Station. The second one is the Hourglass Twins. I'm not sure what the... Bottom left, dark bramble maybe. I guess if we looked at the, um, I'll be brittle hollow maybe. Brittle hollow. Dark bramble is the one that's broken up. Hmm. Show you when you go on like the map view, like where that where that entry is though. It's um Alright, so I think we need to head back to um Did I reread the book that I wrote? Unfortunately not. No, I didn't have enough time. We've got more of the Hanging City, and I think that's down to do with the, the Black Hole Forge. Which is there also. Now the Gravity can So it seems like we need to head to the um, Tower of Quantum Knowledge, because our information here says that it'll, it's held, it holds, holds useful knowledge, or held useful knowledge, for the Nomaya embarking on their first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon. 
So let's um Where is the Tower of Quantum Knowledge? Maybe the city vessel. It's here, isn't it? Alright. That's where we're going to go then. We're going to go and reinvestigate. Um, what we were doing in episode. Uh, I'm guessing I didn't get enough height on that um, exit right there. Also, I think these trees are uh, a little bit toasted. Let's try that again. <laughs> I thought I'd like cleared enough height, but clearly not. Don't crush on me. Okay, let's um I don't know where I want to be here. Let's look for the gravity cannon first, I guess. There's the glacier. There's a gravity cannon. Okay. And... We're down. I thought it was down. Uh, I bought. Almost straight into the black hole, which would have been not very fun. That's the observatory. I don't want the observatory. Crossroads. Uh, maybe we'll use the crossroads. So that's a gravity cannon, cannon over there. Pretty sure I read this before. Is that the tower of knowledge? Did we go to the gravity crystal workshop? Maybe that's what we need. Maybe we need to go to the workshop in order to be able to... Ah, that's an interesting thought, isn't it? I'm not going to elaborate on that thought just now. I don't think we've been to the workshop. Have we been to the workshop? Uh... I 
don't know. There's some ghost matter over here, though. Can't get in there. Yes, I think we have been over here because this is um, isn't it Ryback? I think that's on this on Brittle Hollow. I'm sure this is like one of his early camps, and we've read his notes. So yeah, we have been here. It's, uh, it's a little bit. Disappointing. Jim, my point that I was trying to sort of get to there was I wonder if I could like use I wonder if there was some knowledge at the Gravity Crystal Workshop that would help us to climb the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. I think that's the tower over there, isn't it? The Hanging City. That's where we need to be. Um, so that, Mr. Fab. Thanks for hanging, buddy. Appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by and saying hi. We're not going to make it to the um, we're not going to make it there this time. So let's just read. That's the Black Hole Forge District, the Ice Shrine District, Meltwater Meltwater District, oh, Meltwater District. That's where we are now. We get to discover how to melt water. Oh, well, we've read all this because I remember reading this. This is about the. Um, this is where they were debating whether or not to do certain bits and pieces, wasn't it? Yeah, how should they attain the warp core? And then they decide they talked about going to get the one from the vessel. And then they also just discussed about making a new one using the black hole forge, if I remember rightly. Yeah. So yeah, we have read that. This is where the final stair boss got us as well, I think. Problem is, I think we need to lower the black hole forge. There's more. I also didn't check there to see whether or not there was anything that was like we could get off a little bit early or not. Oh, I think I found another shortcut. Found a shortcut into the Hanging City. Ha <laughs> ha Excellent. Sure, I've read all of this. Okay. 
Okay. Alright, so we now have easy ways into these two cities at least. Which is pretty dope. Which of that was snow, right? Okay, so here, let's just check. Yes, the way around here was to fly around like we previously did. our path to there. This is the school district, if I remember rightly. And we're off. Um, from what I've seen, Mika, at the minute, I don't believe, I don't believe there's like any, like combat or anything, but I don't know. We're still, we've still got a fair bit to see, I think, as, uh, of the game. I think we're pretty screwed now as well, aren't we? I don't think this... I know if I remember rightly, I think there is a fuel tank over here. Excellent. There's also a way to it from here as well. Has this always been here? Huh. check that I haven't that I've read this yeah it's about why they should build a new vessel all right definitely read that oh well that makes sense I suppose We can't use it because it is broked. I've right, now got to remember where the entry point for this was.
Now it's on this glacier somewhere. Over here. Isn't it? There it is. Let's, um, so I'm pretty sure there was some controls here for the forge, wasn't there? Okay, so that goes up there. So my mic seems really loud. I keep bashing it with my freaking chin. Uh, so if we go up to like the next area, which is up here. to get up to there. So that's on the bottom of the... That's the bottom of the... Um, where we teleport in from the white station, right? The white hole station. Okay. So... I think we've explored over here, have we? I'm not sure there's anything in... Oh, there's a hole in the ceiling there. Am I feeling brave enough to... Uh... Probably not. That's more of a drop down hole than a fly through hole. It's definitely some stuff to explore here. I'm not brave enough to fly through it, I'm stupid enough to fly through it, LB. <laughs> There's a difference. All right, let's go down here for a start because there is um, definitely some stuff to read down here. This is quite interesting as well. It's like looking at this. Deathwish, thank you very much for the gift sub, which has gone to Atom. Atom, welcome, welcome. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, this room is interesting. The reason I pause, I don't want to like waste too much time. But um, the this room and this window is very. I know it's, it's the same as when we was in the um, on the Ember Twin and we found the room that told us about the eye and there was like lots of questions about the eye. I just I don't know if it's significant, but there was this exact window, almost like like this is like a main communal focal point or something of the, the village or the, the city. Be welcome in this place. This sh okay, so this is, yeah, okay, so it's a shrine. It's the shrine. So this and the other place we saw before is a shrine to the eye in the city, I think. This shrine is space to reflect on what brought us the star system the signal from the eye. We observed the eye signal in our travels and followed it here to find its source. What we know is this, the source... Oh, so this is this is exactly the same text as what we saw before. Is, is this all the same text? 
What is the eye of the universe? Eyes older than the universe. Imagine how we could teach us perhaps it's a cosmic library. Suppose the eye is more of a more an advan is a more advanced being. Okay, it's slightly different. The eye is the source of the signal that brought us here. How can the eye be older than the universe itself? Suppose it's a relic from a previous universe. The early universe was unimaginably hot and dense. If anything existed before, it would have been destroyed. Suppose the universe is older than previously assumed. What is the eye's signal? Suppose the eye wishes to communicate. The signal is a call. We are intend we are were we the intended audience. The signal is the eye's voice. It speaks a language we don't know yet know. Or maybe the signal is the eye's attempt at expressing itself. Of note, from the signal, we were able to determine the eye's approximate age, or perhaps its lack of age. Able to identify its age. All right, so whilst, I think whilst, obviously these are shrines to the eye, and each of the, um, each of the, um, each of the clans they have the same questions but reading this text each clan has like a different approach or a different um thought about each question and each point which is quite interesting that's like why for a start i think we saw the um um Death wish, thank you for the hundred bits. Um, that's why, for a start, we saw the um, same questions, but then as we read on, we got like the different answers. So yeah, each clan sort of like has different views on what the eye is and where it's come from, sort of thing. It's interesting though that these don't. This information doesn't update anything on the ship's log, although I guess it's just each clan's own almost like thoughts and preferences kind of thing. Right, so let's head check to make sure we're not missing anything. I no longer believe, as I did as a child on the Ember Twin, that the eye of the universe, the source of the signal, wishes to harm us, but it may not want to be found either. In fact, the eye may not have wishes at all. We have no evidence supporting this. Terrible circumstances for our arrival here were almost certainly exactly that, circumstance. I suspect imagining we are special to the eye in some way is wishful thinking. The eye might have called out to us to any sentient species. Or it might not have been calling out at all. And that may that my ancestors heard the eye signal holds no great deep meaning. This wouldn't be so bad, I think. All right, Death Wishes airboat giveaway is active, guys. If you can guess within 10 airboats of Death Wishes total, you will win $10. 10 American dollars. I'll have a look at my notes in a minute. All right, so this is the, uh, this is the hole we were trying to uh, squeeze through from down below, I guess. Doesn't look like there is much else happening. That black hole is just like constantly there, isn't it? It's everywhere. Okay, so. Are they gravity crystals on there? No, it's just the way the light's reflecting. I thought that was like gravity. They were gravity crystals all the way down there, but I guess not. Um. All right, forty-eight thousand two hundred and fifty-six. I guess. Only way I can get to the black hole from here. I think I've got to go. Gotta go over here. Now, what's interesting to note here is 
this has the same oh, we're almost out of time right this has almost the same properties as the quantum tower in that there's bits missing off so I kind of feel like we need to understand how we can bypass this area here. But I don't see how we can bypass this area because this segment here isn't active, is it? Can't stand on here. Don't think I can stand on the other bit though. All right, so I, I desperate. I, I do really want to get to the black hole forge though. I don't think I can, I don't think I can, um, I don't think I can get to it while it's in, like, in the lower position. So, we definitely need to sort of try and get to it after we've raised it up. You raise me up, so I don't sit in the black hole. Nothing new there. I think we're clear of the height this time, so... One other interesting note as well is... Is it possible to get onto the lantern, I wonder? I wonder. Because on the map, the lantern is actually like greyed out, isn't it? effect almost Because the, um, the forge here is well and truly in that black hole, isn't it? There's nowhere we can get to that, I don't think. I'm going to go and get this man some garlic butter bacon burgers, please.
Alright, let's head back up to here. Pretty sure I'm not meant to do that. Okay, so the current conundrum, easy for me to say, is how do we ascend to greatness? I guess we could bring we could bring the forge back down. Oh, wait a second. What? Okay, what if I was now? Uh I gotta remember the way out it's up there, isn't it? That's the final stair boss. quite funny really talking about like first impressions of games because I always remember my first impression of The Witness and it was recommended to me on Steam and I honestly thought to myself who in the right mind would want to spend that sort of money on a game where you're drawing lines what what's wh where's the uh, where's the like the wh where's the draw in the, the 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 appeal in that that was my very first assumption and my very first um, sort of opinion of the witness. Where is the... Oh, it is over here. Okay, so the forge is sitting right above where I am now, I believe. So my question is, how do I get to the forge? That path is clearly bust.
this is the top side of where I want to I feel like I want to be able to oh, where I'll be I want to be able to that was a horrible horrible sentence um If actually going to um, going to chat now with Ryback would open anything up, telling him I don't know if I can like tell him that there's a he's he's been interested about like the Hanging City hasn't he? But I don't know if like telling him there's there's like we found a way into there would really help us or progress things in any way, shape or form. I don't know, I'm definitely missing something here with Forge. in there. Alright, so I don't know if I'm just going to get swallowed up by the black hole here. should really not try to uh, do anything over the black hole. Pretty dumb move. Right, so I don't think, I don't think f at all that it's possible to jump on the top of the forge because I think you're just going to get sucked up by the black hole. So I don't think that's going to be possible. Um, so that kind of like brings me back to the idea of how do I... Turn, but that's to return to the white hole station, isn't it? Yeah, I think the fact that the um, 
fact that the forge is over the black hole, the black hole will always suck me through, I think. It's trying to, um... Doing anything over that black hole is not good at all. So that's where we... Oh, wait a second. No, I'm not going to bed yet. Watch. So, it's got one of those, um, like, viewing platform things there, right? There's a way to I want to say I wonder if there's a way to almost a way to use that like viewing use the tablet to switch our position but then actually go outside of that area every time we've used the tablets and we're like we've been able to like peek into like the wherever it takes us the minute we walk out of that area we can't do anything so Okay, so then to do that, we would need to go back through the black hole, though. Because... We need to pick up the tablet thing to start with, don't we? that. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. This is the projection stone for the Ember Twin, right? So, what if, I wonder if it's possible I wonder if it's possible to Right, does this take me back to...
go. It takes me back to the, sh the the Whitehall station. Okay, I just had to check. All right. I'm still ticking over some things in my head at the moment. But ultimately, here's... Ultimately, here's my hunch. What would happen? Because what I, want, I, I need to be like the other side of this, right? So what would happen if... I find... The projection stone... Or Brittle Hollow and bring that here. Likewise, what happens if I take the. I don't know if I've got enough time now before the um, cycle ends this time. What happens if I take this to the Ember Twin and put it on the projection? I'm, I'm thinking if I can find... I don't know what would happen over here. But... I mean, I've got to find the, the thing first. Which isn't going to be an easy task. The whole place is pretty much full of sand. I'm guessing, though, it's going to be near... Should be over here somewhere, right? Also, big yikes. Right, okay, we found it. So what happens, do, does anything happen if I place the Ember Twin Projection Stone on the Ember Twin Pedestal? No. Well, that sucks. Uh, I have not played Control, no, I have not. I think I may have it on PlayStation, but I'm not entirely sure. Now, I do wonder instead, actually. I'm massively running out of time here. Oh wow, that's the... I didn't realise what that was. That's the Ash Twin. I was like, what, what's that weird floating thing that I have never seen before? But yeah, the Ash Twin's like lost all its sun, hasn't it? Uh, lost all, its, all the sand has come off the Ash Twin, so... So, 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 so. 
Unfortunately... Unless there's another place. Unless there's somewhere else to put the projection stone. I honestly thought I might have been onto something there with the um, with the projection stone thing. Like it might, if I used matched the right ones up, it would have flipped me into the, like the the other side or taken me somewhere else. Um. Robert, this cell system in pursuit of a signal from something older than the universe itself, the end source, the eye of the universe. Still more at the gravity cannon, and we still need to check the quantum tower of knowledge because um, there is potentially the information of how to get to the quantum moon using the gravity cannon, I guess. And then once we've got that, we can then probably use the gravity cannon to get to the, the moon. Um, so what before we start the uh, before we start the next loop do you want to do that now death wish or do you want to leave it till the end of the stream so I'm sort of in a bit of a, a thought moment here I can break for five minutes Might even go and put the uh, the the kettle on and uh, go and grab myself another uh, another coffee. Oh wait a minute! Didn't the picture of the ash twin change? It wasn't like that before, was it? No. sucked in there. That's alright. It's all good. We'll, we'll carry on for now. Let's go inside Daft Punk's helmet and see if we can work out how to get to the um, Tower of Knowledge from this way. Interesting that the escape hatch hadn't blown. That was very close. Don't think actually I've explored like this whole area, maybe.
Oh, so this is... I think this is the... Um, that is maybe like the early shrine. Eye shrine. Before they got to the hanging city. Well, really not knowing the way we've lost to the highest part will come later. But yeah, we've uh, definitely seen that segment before. Since the sharp and haunting, I would give anything to know if it's actually known at all, which would be worse. Can I hope that you are safe, Keek, wherever you are. crystals over here. I don't know that there was much more to explore over here as such. I do remember like when we first came into this area though it was very it was almost like very like a very quick stop sort of thing. I'm sure there is more text to explore around here. problem being though of course it's like everything is falling apart around me so you have to be very very quick to explore and pray that uh, you don't end up on one of the pieces that's going to break apart everywhere else um, pretty easy to get turned around here though finding If we start moving, then we need to dig yikes. I understand why did the vessel crash into this place? Was the vessel unwell? I think we've seen this before. I remember reading about the vessel being unwell. And then, yeah, that's uh, basically what happened. Signal consumed by something uh, was destroyed, and then it went off on its separate ways. Definitely seen that before. Excuse me. crystals are over here. My brother wasn't in escape pod 1 with us. Was he in pod 2 or pod 3? He was able to board an escape pod at all. We sacrificed too much arriving here. I cannot, I will not allow my, our clan's greatest loss to be in vain. a bit more backstory than anything else. I don't think I've read that bit before though. But obviously somebody is um, a person is missing their relatives. Alright, so we made it back to the shrine. 
Alright, let's go on the gravity crystals. There's a way to get to the hanging city here, staying on the roof. I'm just sort of thinking of ways that we might be able to access. something somewhere been anywhere which is quite frustrating starting to get that like disheartened feeling for tonight because I feel like why we while we have learnt some bits and pieces it's been a bit of a slow burn tonight or oh, is a bit of a slow burn tonight we're not done yet of course where it takes me. I should move out of the projection zone and it throws you back out again. The fuel tank is the fuel. I'm getting massively distracted. I'm trying to get to the freaking Tower of Knowledge. But I keep deviating from my path.
Here we go. So yeah, what's interesting about this place? It, it has very. It's there's a similarity to the. There's a big similarity to the like the Hanging City, whereby it's broken. The pathway is broken, and I almost I, I'm I'm leaning towards. Maybe if we can find out how to like, climb this tower. Then we might be able to work out how we can then also climb the, um, the other area to get to the Black Hole Forge. Now... issue is it's very damaged and very broken it talks about ascending the stairs gain the knowledge that you need to be able to get to the moon Pretty sure I don't need to go down that. That would be um would be a bit of a yikes. That's just the bottom, isn't it? There's no way. So there's no way because there's obviously a way. Um, there's no. not good. I don't think you have to keep telling me that the surface of the temperature is 0%. I think I'm quite aware of that game.
Not sure why my uh, surface integrity is still zero right now. Be so silly. The problem is, though, even like looking at this, like from here. entire thing is broken like even if I was to somehow get the other side of this it's not going to make a difference because the um Interesting. So, what... And it was too late before I realised, okay. I shot the scout into the Tower of Quantum Knowledge, yeah? Um, but then, just as we were stood there, it, the scout was moving. So, am I right to assume... Possibly not. But am I right to assume that the tower went through the black hole and the tower is floating in space? I mean, here's the gravity cannon. Also, Brittle Hollow Projection Stone. Thank you. 
Did we just think us out? Did we just work something out? Alright. Time out. Ten to midnight. We've got time for at least one more full loop. At least. All right, here's the plan of action. Step one. Go to the gravity cannon. Um, yeah, step one, gravity cannon. We're going to the gravity cannon because I want to go and get that stone. I want to try and do the thing with the stone. Step two will be to go to the crossroads. Let's get the Brittle Hollow Projection Stone. Thanks for hanging, Mika. Appreciate it, buddy. Have a good rest of the night. Hopefully catch you next time. Thank you very much as well for the gift sub to LB. Appreciate that. Okay, next off. I want to find... It's over here, isn't it? Somewhere. There's the building. Okay, this is inside. Okay, this is just inside the quantum knowledge tower, isn't it? That's just not what I was hoping for. So that's, that was a bit of a, a bust. Um, I do want to do though is... So much speed. Gravity cannon.
It's way down this gravity cannon was near the ship. on the full lap of the planet. I didn't find it. But that does mean we're back at the ship. So... Yikes. Cannon, where are you? This is already gone. Oh no. Uh, yeah, the gravity cannon might have already gone. Oh, this is the tower of knowledge, isn't it? Okay, this is the. This is the tower. What I want to do with this is... Pop that in there. And now we're going to wait. Now, what I don't know is whether or not the, um, I don't know whether or not, like, the, where your stud is more prone to being hit by the volcanic eruptions. That would be the easy, that would be too easy, though, LB, if I, uh. If I was, like, just mark things on my hood. Alright. About to go. It does feel though like it you get more impacts where you're stood. Oh come on. You're just teasing me now. Almost look like for a second. Yeah, but there's nothing there, is there? I don't believe.
time of the day where MySQL does an update and takes me away from what I was doing. Thanks for that. I guess maybe it is. Um, maybe it is. Um, it, it does happen at the same time or every day, or every loop. I was just lucky that I stood here and I got so many impacts that affected the surface integrity early on. <sighs> Sorry, look like this last loop is, um, or this loop has been like a bit slow paced, but I kind of just want to test out this theory. I mean, I, I could have gone somewhere else. I could like, I could potentially go just go and jump through the black hole and wait in the station. Sorry. Might not be a bad shout because I need to go and get some oxygen soon. Ah, okay. It is random. Ish. Does... I suppose the question I, I, I don't know the answer to is, does it still... Does it still break apart and do you still end up with bits in space if you're not on it? That would be an interesting um, experiment, I suppose. Nothing makes a sound in space, though. Did you never hear the tagline for aliens in space? Nobody hears you scream. Are you going to hear a fallen tree in space? Seriously. Man! I'm starting to think that this isn't the right thing though because um, by the time if if it's like if the planet thing is slightly random there's a chance I guess that it may not even fall through the black hole or it might fall through the black hole that late that you don't even have a chance to kind of like investigate it So, hmm. so still, I'm still very like, still very puzzled with like Brittle Hollow and how we are meant to access the forge. I 
I'm not too fussed about like understanding the gravity cannon at the minute because I think once we get inside the Tower of Knowledge, that will all then become apparent as to what we need to do with that. Um... the impacts we're looking for. No, I guess not. Not the impact you are looking for. It's like the white hole. Just bits of brittle hollow circulating. Thirty minutes to download and upload twenty six gig. Can I have your internet? <laughs> to be fair, though, we've um, hopefully I'll have some uh, decent internet pretty soon. They're um, starting to roll out um, gigabit connections in the area, so fingers crossed. I'll actually have some decent download speeds soon. I get the feeling we're going to be really unlucky here and we're not going to get a freaking... We're not going to get a hit here. Oh, there we go. We're off. We're off to see the wizard. The wonderful wizard of Oz. Because, because, because. Alright. Need to get on to. I need to go down to here first. Did I just big brain this? Okay, where can we read the scrolls? More information there. Oh, that's the um, the um, the 
where you peek in, isn't it? There must be a place to read scrolls up here somewhere. Right down there. Welcome, Salanum. Your arrival here means you've completed your preparations on Giant's Deep and are ready to depart for the Quantum Moon. This is a bit awkward. Um, on your pilgrimage, the Quantum Moon will carry you, just as it carried me and many others in the clan before me, to the Moon's sixth and most secret location. Of course, now the time is about to go. You'll be aided in your pilgrimage by the shrine our clan built on the quantum moon, but remember the final rule. To explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the moon's north pole. Be cautious on your journey. I mean, I can't, I can't drop the scroll. Ah! It's my first period of quantum and you're always prepared to set deep sleep journey before you do. Pause and remember your history. Um, we make this journey not only to focus ourselves, but also to one of the members of our clan who came for us. Those who, after the crash, brought us to the star system. The brand has become strained on Brill Hollow. And on the end between, with no communication between these two groups of survivors. These know my looked upwards to two different planets and saw the same wandering movers in the skies. It was this moon, the quantum moon, that kept the curiosity alive during the long periods of hardship. After the two divided groups were able to reunite, it became the clan's final quantum moon. It took a long time, and many know my dreams. Seeing the quantum moon died before they discovered how to make the journey. When you reach Quantum Moon, recall these Nomai and carry their curiosity onwards with you. Um, okay. In all fairness, LB, I was trying to read that as quickly as I could because I knew the end was coming. And um, obviously having to wait for that amount of time is like, yikes. Um, I suppose the good thing is though, because the because the ship log updated, I should be able to read all that again. Now, one thing I will say that I don't really take from that is um, the one thing I'm a little bit unsure of is I was expecting. I was expecting like some clear-cut way, I suppose, to access the, the quantum moon. No more be able to shrine on the quantum moon to aid the pilgrimage to its sixth location. Remember this final rule. To explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the moon's north pole. So the shrine can be moved? Pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon was a deeply significant journey for the Nomai. After two groups Nomai stranding on Ember Twin and Brittle Hollow were reunited, it became their united goal to visit, to find and visit the Quantum Moon. Nomai built a shrine on the Quantum Moon to aid the pilgrimage to its sixth location. Quantum Moon sometimes disappears, possibly to an unknown sixth location. Many Nomai went on a pilgrimage during which the Quantum Moon carried them to its sixth and most secret location. To explore this sixth location, the shrine of the Quantum Moon must be on the Moon's North Pole. Okay. I'll be honest, I'm a little bit... Um feel a little bit disappointed 
I honestly thought like going to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge, it was going to tell us exactly how to get to the moon. But instead, it's just basically said and, and told us um, how to get to the sixth location more than anything. Unless I'm missing something. <laughs> okay so there's still some bits and pieces we need to look at and explore in the tower like the um i don't know if they have any kind of relevance to getting to the moon but right at the top, there are the different icons and the different symbols for the different planets. And I guess like where the quantum moon is and it has some relation to that, perhaps. Um, other than that, though, I don't think there was I don't think there was anything else. They didn't say there certainly didn't look like there was anything else there to um, kind of like take from mm. and well sorry not take from but anything else to explore there there was just like the two walls of text and the two scrolls and then whatever was at the top there so I did read I read it that's what I thought so yeah I don't know a little bit I feel a little bit underwhelmed a little bit disappointed with what I actually found out there I was honestly expecting to find out um a little bit more about everything but um it is what it is so that's where we're going to leave it today guys thank you very much everybody though for uh tuning in to uh, the fun that is this outer worlds playthrough still having an absolute blast with this and um you know being able to kind of do different bits and pieces is um and you know making deductions and just generally working things out is always um always uh, part of the fun I suppose of this sort of game so we'll be back tomorrow um, I don't actually know what direction I'm going to uh, attack and uh, approach tomorrow if I'm honest um, I suppose I'll, well I, I'm not going to look too much at it now but I'll have a proper look at the board and see kind of like where I think the best things to do I mean I don't particularly want to deviate too much but there's some other um like satellites and things we can like find there was something that we found at the radio tower over here which was um one of them was not malfunctioning but noticed something strange which i think i identified one of the coordinates where um that was coming from looking at the pictures there was something in one of the pictures that wasn't on the other one so um yeah we'll maybe take a look at the radio stations tomorrow but yeah, I'll have a bit of a better look at the map tomorrow and um, try to come up with an idea of where we're going to go. So uh, everyone on YouTube, um, I say bye to you guys because uh, Deathwish has got a little giveaway for everybody who is here on Twitch. So uh, yeah, YouTube, thank you very much for watching, guys. I appreciate your support. Until next time, peace out. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, it's too late in the night. Thanks, guys, for watching. And until next time, bye-bye. Cheers.